cannot filter it out. It is in you. You are listening. Like when the voice inside your head says something, you are listening. It's it's not even a choice because it's it's inside, right? And it's it's kind of trippy. Hey there, folks and friends. Connecting dots here. Fukushima Day 669. It's January the 7th, 2013. What's going on, folks? Your mainstream media has let you down one more time. Can you? Did you get this article? Can you see here on the bottom? The date's written there. TEPCO released on December 25th. Yeah, where were you? Certainly not watching the news. And if you were, chances are your news didn't even mention it. Folks, this is the world's biggest nuclear disaster. Hell, it's it's the world's largest disaster, period. It's stuck in slow motion, and I can't believe it. Folks have, folks have still not caught on. I still have folks ridiculing me, trolls ridiculing me. No, no, the radiation, da, 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 it's gone to your head. You're crazy. I'm not crazy. You're crazy because you're not paying attention. You know, hopefully by the time you've watched this video here, you will have connected some dots and I'll also pull up a, a conversion chart so you can figure out what 10, 10 million becquerels of cesium is. You know, many folks don't have no idea what that, what even cesium is in the first place. And here's another good thing here. Not only are there 10 million becquerels of cesium 134, 137, but they're also mentioning the least harmful ones. I've said this a hundred times before. There are hundreds of more, <laughs> hundreds of radioactive particles and most of them have longer lives much longer than two years plutonium 24,000 years folks you're being hit with all types of radioactive isotopes and tepco is only releasing the least harmful ones the ones that are the easiest to track and the least harmful ones but at least you're getting an idea here this has not stopped because if you remember correctly this past summer in uh, july 24th i believe if I'm not mistaken, it was sometime in July 2012, they released that there was also 10 million becquerels of cesium-134, 137. You'll see with the articles here I'm about to pull up, this has not stopped. It's an ongoing event. And if you understand how radiation bioaccumulates, and they're letting you know right now that, hey, here we are here, Fukushima Day, 600 and, well, this was out, uh, 657. It was still spewing out 10 million becquerels of radiation. This is not done. This is an ongoing event. They've already admitted a long time ago, it'll take 20 to 35 years to contain this. The radiation has escaped the containment vessel. In most cases, it's underneath the building itself. In some cases, they don't even know where the damn radiation blob is. Get real, folks. This is, how come you can go back to sleep? I just don't understand it. I mean, there's people out there, they want silver videos. You know, I'm all about making money too, but the fact is, we have a bigger... We have a bigger crisis here. There's a bigger bigger threat. Yes, I know the U.S. dollar is going to wipe the hell out of everyone, but the fact is, what good of it, what good is it if you make a shitload of money on silver and gold, yet you're you're dying of cancer a few years later and you don't know what hits you? Time to connect some dots here. So let's go back in time here. You know, I'm going to use this same place, Indian News. I mentioned a hundred times before. Uh, good job for them staying on top of this. Um, this article was put out April 8th, 2011 here. Cesium-134-137 found in U.S. food supply. Organic milk bought in San Francisco Bay Area. And those of you that live on the West Coast, California, watch out, man. We're all being hit. I'll, I'll show you on the map. This is something you have to pay attention. If you have not caught on yet that this is bioaccumulating, you will by the time you're I'm done with this video. Hopefully, you will pass it on to someone else you love so they can connect the dots and understand this is an ongoing crisis that your mainstream media is just not talking about, and they should be. Okay, continuing on here, on April 7th, uh, this was put out here. It was called the Fukushima Forecast. Uh, this is where I kind of got known on YouTube because I started putting out these maps here, showing folks, look at... Look at, this is crossing here. Right over, I'd mentioned here, I live on Vancouver Island, British Columbia, Canada. I'd mentioned here, this is crossing the Pacific. It's hitting me, it's hitting everyone here. Those of you who are paying close attention, you may have noticed how there, the news had reported that there was an increase in infant mortality death rates. That's children under the age of one specifically. Uh, and the death rates had risen across the United States in, I believe it was 13 or 14 different states, had risen anywhere from 35% to 48%. That was Philadelphia had the highest infant mortality death rate, 48%. Here in British Columbia, here where I live, British Columbia, Canada, in this province, we had an infant mortality death rate rise by 68%.
right after Fukushima. Folks, this is the ongoing thing. The children, the newborns were the first one to show their DNA, their double helix is splitting. They're getting shot with radiation. They're the first ones to get, to get nuked. You got to realize you're next. And if not, it's your kids or your grandchildren. At what point do you say enough, enough, enough? Look at here, April the 8th. And look, pay attention here. Above. Those of you in Canada, Vancouver, Canada, radiation test shows iodine-131 in rainwater at almost 100 times above U.S. drinking water. Again, iodine-131, what, half, uh, half life of eight days? They always mention the least harmful ones. The point is, is if, if the iodine is getting over here and so is the cesium, so are hundreds of other radioactive particles that uh, give cancer in all sorts of ways. You, you got to get clued into this. You got to share this information. People have got to get a, a wake up call because their mainstream news is letting them down. <sighs> okay, again here. April 13, 2011, latest UCB test results. First time radioactive cesium found in spinach, arugula, kale, around San Francisco Bay Area. And by the way, you know, that's just because they're testing San Francisco Bay. I mean, they're, they're, it's falling all across here in North America, folks, okay? They're working on a specific area here. The jet stream carries everything over. If you haven't figured that out, you're going to have to figure it out real soon. This is how pollution is tracked and radiation is tracked. They follow the jet stream. Okay, so May 3rd, season 137 levels continue to rise in San Francisco Bay Area. That's the point here. They continue to rise. Look at this is May 3rd. It's non-stop. Again, September 15th, both cesium-134 uh, and 137 increase in latest San Francisco Bay Area milk samples. It's an ongoing crisis. Your news is not telling you the truth. And by the way, everything you've seen on the screen so far is all linked down below here at the bottom of the video. It says show more box. Uh, it's the old description box on YouTube videos. All the links are there. You can go read this stuff up or you can hit the space bar and pause it. Read it as your own will. Anyways, I'm going to continue on here. October 20th, 2011, 220 days later, radiation levels in San Francisco area melt remain above EPA's maximum containment level. Cesium-137 continues steady increase that began in August. This is non-stop. I'll show you more articles here because I really want to. This point has got to be sunken into your head that your food chain has been affected and is continuously being affected. They are looking at 20 to 35 years before there's a containment. In my eyes, seriously, when they say 20 to 35, I'm looking at 35 to 55 years. Regardless, I don't even want another year of this shit I don't care if you don't give a shit, but I do. I've got a real problem with this. And those of you that live in Canada, you need to hook up with me. We're going to get a freedom of access of information. We're going to find out what piece of shit minister went and signed a piece of papers to have the radiation detector monitors taken off the tops of the buildings in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. We had Geiger counters. They were our first line of defense here in Canada. When they knew there was a plume of radiation coming, the sons of bitches went and pulled a plug on you so we would not know. For 10 days, we have no levels there. Somebody signed for that piece of paper. There's a minister responsible somewhere. Get on board, folks. I can't do this by myself. I need other people, okay? Do you get it? I am I, I, I got things to do. I can't just be making radiation monitors unless you're willing to kick back some money here and help me with this venture because I can't do it on my own. Okay, continuing on. Sorry, I, I'm sorry if I'm a little upset, but I am upset. I'm trying to contain myself here because there's no damn containment taking place where it should be taking place. There should be somebody on the news upset about this shit and there's nobody. Cesium-134 and 137 detective in San from San Francisco Bay Area Yard. This is again July 15, 2012. At what point does it stop? At what point do you care and you say enough is enough with this bullshit? I can't do it by myself, and it's great that you're watching the videos, it's great that you're giving a thumbs up, but I need some proactive people that are going to join along here. Come on, folks. Idle no more. That's the new thing that's going in Canada. The natives have had it. They've had it of being fucked over by our government. They're idle no more. At what point do you say enough is enough? I'm tired of being fucked over too. I don't know. Sorry, I don't swear very often, but I'm getting really ticked off here because I don't see any real movement taking place. TEPCO here again. Sorry, I'm going to stay on track with this video here. July 24, 2012. TEPCO. Cesium getting stirred up. Fukushima plant still emitting 10,000 becquerels per hour. I told you that this was an ongoing crisis. The number has not stopped. That famous 10 million becquerels of only the cesium-134, 137, when there are hundreds of other more radioactive particles spewing out of it. 
Fukushima every single hour, and I can't believe this is not talked about on the news. Your news has let you down. Ding, 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 ding. Wake up, people. Cesium measured from American green nuts. Yes, the Marusito measured cesium from pistachio imported from the U.S. 98% of American pistachios is produced in California. Are you eating pistachios? Did you have them for Christmas? I hope not. <laughs> okay, here we go again. January the 6th, 2013, just to keep you on track here, let you know this has not stopped here. Over 200,000 becquerels per kilogram of radioactive cesium and dust from outside of uh, Fukushima Prefecture. And don't tell me, no, it doesn't affect dust, because I've, I've mentioned it before that when the uh, air samples were taken in Seattle during the same uh, three-month period that they were in, taken in Tokyo, Tokyo had 10 radioactive particles floating around uh, sorry, uh, people were breathing in, on average, uh, 10 radioactive particles, hot particles, per day. And over in Seattle, people were breathing in 5 to 6 radioactive particles per day, if they live a sedentary life. If you live a very active life, they said you're sucking in roughly 10 particles per day, the same levels as the people were in Tokyo were. Hello, folks. At what point do you clue in? You cannot filter it out. It is in you. You are listening. Like when the voice inside your head says something, you are listening. It's, it's not even a choice because it's, it's inside, right? And it's, it's kind of trippy <laughs> to, to even think about the it. Bigger you, you are listening. The bonfire that speech, of you are listening. <laughs> How can it's I put it? Trippy. The bigger you build the bonfire of understanding, the more darkness is revealed your startled eyes. We cannot evolve beyond the confines of our language. 